What is going on guys, DBG here, and this is episode 2 of Rate My Team slash Fix My Team, basically a series where I review your guys' squads, and basically I'm going to be reviewing 10 for every episode and doing one of these every week. If you guys want me to review one of your squads, uh, give me a follow on Twitter, unfortunately I'm not going to be doing it through other social media because I don't really use any other social media too much, so give me a follow on Twitter, a link will be in the description, and also, it's not going to be this specific tweet, but there will be a tweet basically um asking you guys to reply to your squads and that's where i take them off from but anyway yeah that is pretty much it and now let's go on to the squads so this is team number one i gotta say this team a couple of the players are good in the squad but overall like for the amount of mt that this team would cost i gotta say this is a it's a five out of ten team I don't mean like, obviously, it's not a terrible team, but I mean like, considering that you've locked in Doncic, you've locked in Lillard, you've locked in Clay Thompson, and you've also bought two of the legacy cards that are ridiculously overpriced in Maurice Lucas and Nate Thurmond. It's honestly, and Giannis is one of the most expensive cards in the game. Like this squad is probably well over a million MT. And for a million MT, I cannot rate this any higher, or for the price of this, goes I cannot rate any higher than 5 out of 10. No, I, it's not a bad squad. Lillard's good, Doncic is good. Giannis is good, although I don't feel like Giannis is great to run the small forward position. You are running with Giannis on the floor. You gotta run with him like in real life. You gotta surround him with a bunch of shooters. And the problem is, is that you've got three non-shooters and you're starting five. You will not... Actually, Doncic and Dame Lillard, you might be able to beat a bad player on his own, but like, you've got... A not very tall center, a not very tall power forward, neither of them can shoot. Sure, um, they're actually not the worst, like, speed-wise, they're both very quick. Maurice Lucas and Nate Thurman aren't awful cards, but together, they're not very good. And Giannis, in that starting lineup, is poor. You haven't put anyone the last three off the bench, so when, inevitably, your players get tired, you don't really have, like, any sort of a backup option for them. Your bench... Larry Nance, actually the bench is fine, the bench is fine, you got two non-shooters, but you do have three shooters in Clay, Neek, and Sir DeBaka, um, I wouldn't use Larry Nance, I genuinely would use AC Green, who's just a better Larry Nance, and can shoot the ball a little bit better, he's cheaper, lower overall, and better, also, make sure you have one ex at least an extra point guard in your last three off the bench, and an extra center, centers and point guards lose stamina so quickly, so, you'd rather not be playing half your game on Gatorade symbol with either Magic or Dame Lillard. But, uh, yeah, not a, not a great team. Not gonna lie, not a great team. Okay, so, I like this team. I'm not gonna lie. So, budget's around 50k. I like this team. For a real budget squad, this is probably about 7.5 out of 10. Um, I would, honestly, like, I don't think the starting five in the bench is bad at all. The only players that I would change, and you do have range extender players in Nick Young and Nick Anderson. Um, so if you're kind of struggling with Wiggins or Bone or you need the uh, extra bit of range, or if they're sitting in a zone, you can play these guys to uh, come in. But um, what I would suggest is that you only use one of Nick Anderson or Nick Young as your last three off the bench. What I always say about the last three off the bench is they need to be like your versatile players. They need to be guys, your situational players, your specialists. They need to come in and do something different than the starting five in the bench. Or even more of the same if that's what you want. But um, Nick Young and Nick Anderson do basically the same thing. Um, whichever one you prefer, keep. I'm not going to um, say which over which. Because I, both, I think they're both great cards. I use both of them a ton. Um, and also, replace whichever one of those is with a point guard. Or someone that can play the point guard position. Uh, because again, you pr having three three guys that can play the point guard is a must. Because of the way stamina is this year. And then uh, Zhou Qi, what I would advise you to do is get a power forward slash center that can shoot the ball a little bit. Or, or get a fast power forward um, as one of those positions. Because Rayful Friends, as good as he is, he gets burned a lot. Um, on defense, he's just slow. And I know Luke Walton's great for it on the bench, but you've only got two people that can play the power forward position on the team. So probably... I think something can play power forward center. 
in that budget. I don't know, even a Jonathan Isaac, I don't think would be a bad player in for Joe G because he's nice and cheap. But um, yeah, I just, um, I think replace Nick Anderson or Nick Young with a point guard and put in Jonathan Isaac. Yeah, that would be my only advice. I think your starting five and bench is fine. That is perfectly fine. Um, that's a fairly decent team. And four at one in, Baron Davis, ball dominant. So the way a lot of people play in this game. Got a million MT. So I think the starting five is okay. Actually, the bench is all right, actually. John Stockton's a beast. France is a beast. A little bit small on the bench. But look, they're both so good that you can get away with that. Neek is Neek. We all know how good Neek is. Um, Serge Ibaka. I don't like the card, but he's good. So many people use him, and so many people like him. So I'm not going to say anything bad negatively about that card. Um, the three guys off the bench covered a point guard, small forward, powerful center. That's fine. Keeping Magic Badier and George Mike in there. But you know what? I'd because you're starting five. You've got Giannis, who's a non-shooter, and again, the best thing to do is three on Giannis or shooters. And I know Sean Marion's not terrible. Dunk is not terrible, and Moncrief's not terrible. But that's all you can say about those guys, that they are not terrible as shooters. And again, if Baron Davis is ball dominant, you really, you're going to be most effective when you have Giannis on the ball. Like, not going to lie, it's 2K. Giannis is not great off the ball. So what I would do is I'd put Giannis onto your bench lineup, and I know he might be one of the best cards, but it means that when you go to the bench, you have someone that you can run a lot of stuff through, and you surround them with, like, shooter slash, slash slashers and put in Serge Ibaka into the starting lineup, the power forward position. And then I'd replace one of Moncrief or Marion. Probably Marion, because Marion doesn't have that many defensive badges. Um, he's not the best defender in the game. His shot release is okay, but he's kind of, I don't know. He, he just doesn't do any one thing well enough. And he's also not particularly tall, 6'7", to justify keeping him in there over, I don't know. Um, Trying to think for 800k. Like, obviously, don't waste 800k. Spend as little as possible, but... I'm trying to think who can come in at a decent level. Melo. Melo. I know you've got... I know Melo's not good on defense, but you've got four absolutely elite defenders on the floor. Why not just put in one offense, massively offensive thresh, and just make them guard the other team's least offensive thresh? But, um... Yeah, so... Running pick and rolls, pick and fades, ISO with fast breaks... Um, okay, so Mark Price is really overpriced for what he is. Um, I don't like saying it because he actually should be a good card, and he isn't. He is a good card. He's just really, really overpriced. He's got no ab ability to attack the basket, which means he's a lot, uh, a lot less effective in pick and rolls against good players. If you come up against a good player, um, you're going to really struggle with using him as your main ball handler. If you want to use Terrence Ross as someone to attack the basket and the pick and roll, that's fine. And you want to use Mark Price as a spot-up shooter. Because shooting teams out of the zone. I can look at this team. I'm going to say 6 out of 10, maybe. Terrence Ross is a beast. Uh, LaFrance, Fry are good. Fry, again, is only a Sapphire. Just Evo him up, please. <laughs> um, he needs, once he gets quick draw, he becomes much, much better. Uh, Christian Leitner is a good card. Mason, Rose. You cover all four, all five positions with the last year at the bench. Rose is fine. Um, Levine Amptis is a good card. Bowen's a beast. Joe Smith's actually a good card. So, what I would suggest is to probably replace Mark Price with uh, Jeff Petrie. You're saving a lot of MT and you're getting a card that does a lot more on the floor. I am not saying Jeff Petri, well, I do think he's better in price. I'm not saying he's like significantly better, but he does more. He's more of a threat going to the basket. He was all like his release is better in price it's faster. And while he doesn't have Hall of Fame range extender, he has gold range extender. And also he is four inches taller. My price six foot tall, really undersized. So that would be the one thing I'd definitely change in your team. Other than that, it's not a team I'd use, but I'm not gonna say it's a bad team because it's not. But uh I think there are a couple of improvements to be made, but Again, if you have Dirk's release down, um, I'm not gonna say he's a bad card to use. Just like these guys like Bowen, Levine, Smith. It's like, if you guys have these guys released down, they're perfect, but if you don't have them down, obviously if you don't have any cards releases down, they're not great, and I don't have a lot of these guys releases down. So, this team here, run books freelance. Okay. 
Does that still work? Is that not just 4 out 1 inactive? They just ruined it. That's one of the many freelances 2k ruined. So, no money spent. Um, like to stay at around 100k. We'll sell a player. Okay, so, Koozie's good. Arenas. Um, the last two off the bench. Get in, get in a third point guard, trust me. Um, Doncic is good. A little bit overpriced, though, for Doncic. I read Jerry Lucas is cash money. Also, I would 100% put in an extra center and the last year off the bench for Aaron Baines. And as much as I like Aaron Baines, he is literally the worst post player I have ever used. As in, he's got no post hook, no post fadeaway. He cannot, his jump shot is cash, but he cannot score from inside. So while I do like Aaron Baines, and I'm not saying get rid of him, I mean, make sure you have an alternative for someone who can guard the jump shot so that Aaron Baines is not absolutely useless on the floor because there are certain games against certain players where they can render that card useless. But no, I, I like this team. I like this team. I'd say for my play style, I'd probably give this a seven out of 10 for no money spent. Eight out of 10, this team's competitive. Um, definitely, is, you can be, you're gonna be competitive with this team if you know what you're doing. A little bit slow on foot for the three, four, five. Um, starters as well as bench but again offensively it's a really good team everyone can shoot the ball and yeah this is definitely a team that I could see myself going out into a game of unlimited with maybe replace well like you have Gordon Hayward locked in so I'm not going to really advise you to spend any MT replacing him because to do that you need to spend probably 60 70k MT and there's no points to get a significant upgrade in any of these players so yeah just fill out the last two spots on the bench with a uh, third point guard and a third center and should be fine this is not a bad team at all okay now we are into this one here no money spent budgets around 100k hawks 2018 offense 4 out one in hawks 2018 offense has been ruined as well i like to have cards with high three point ratings and speed with the ball okay so i would start the lineup is good I'm me myself. I'm not a fan of Boyan, um. So I put KD at the four and put down the three. Like I'd say, other than the fact that your backup point guard is Jason Kidd, this team is probably uh. Actually, no. The fact Jason Kidd's the backup point guard bumps this down. I was gonna say this team's probably like an eight point five out of ten, but it's gone down to seven point five. Jason Kidd is. He's not very good. Let's just say that much. He is not very good. Just Jeff Petrie. Just replace him with Jeff Petrie. Trust me, even if you like, really like Jason Kidd, if you put Jeff Petrie in for Jason Kidd, it'll be like your whole world has changed. Jeff Petrie is like a better Malcolm Brogdon. And Brogdon's class. <laughs> like, okay, so I'm trying to think of what way he runs the bench lineup. Um, Bowen maybe at the two, the three, Tatum, four Pierce or other. At the five Vucevic. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Or if he's using Levine at the two, that's good as well. And um, what I would advise you to do is because you've got four players on the floor or three players to play. Actually, no, that's apart from replacing Jason Kidd, this is a fine team. This is fine. This is a good team. There's not much tips I can give. And like, look, there's a lot of the tips that I'd be given are like using players that I suggest. And like, obviously, for example, like I might really like Luka Doncic and someone else really does. But like, that doesn't mean like, because like I know how good Doncic can be in the right hand. So I'm not going to say replace Doncic just because I don't like him. But no, this is a good team. While there are definitely certain players I would use over the guys you have. But no, there's, there's nothing wrong with this team at all. Maybe start Jason Tatum at the power forward position and run with a lineup of Pierce at the four off the bench. But other than that, it's a good lineup. If it wasn't for the point guard situation where you've only got one good point guard and one, one of the worst point guards I've used in the game, it would be a really, really good squad. Still good, but could be better. Now we are on to this one here. But it's 100K, Hawks, Freelance, Blow by ISO. You can't you can't ISO in the Hawks Freelance anymore. They ruined that. Um Okay, so non-shooting centers, you got not one shooting center on the team. 
And that is a little bit of a problem. Actually, no, Dirk at the end of the bench, that's fine. I'd replace Jason Kidd. J just replace Jason Kidd with Jeff Petry. There is absolutely no excuse to have Jason Kidd in the lineup. Um, but apart from that, I personally don't rate Andre Drummond at all. I just think he gets in the way. I don't think he's any use. Um, Walter Davis, I don't think is a great card either. So I'd probably say even someone like a Nick Young or something just does a lot more than Walter Davis. I can't believe I'm saying that because if you guys use Davis in 2K19, he was a god. Unfortunately, not this year. But Dave, Baron Davis, obviously, really good to one. If you have Baron Davis and Amari, you're obviously good at the game. So, uh, take what I say with a pinch of salt. But the bench is nice. Like, Wade's really good. Garnett's really good. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of DeAndre Jordan. But again, it's you've got basically Drummond and slightly worse Drummond than Jordan. So, it's obvious that's what you want to do with your centers. But, and you also have Dirk as an alternative. So, I look, I gotta give this team an 8 out of 10. I got it. This is a really good team, and there's threats everywhere. Apart from the fact that it's kind of off-ball central. If you are coming up, for example, against a um, Mirasan, I know you might be saying, "Oh, Drummond and DeAndre Jordan are gonna outrun Mirasan," but at the same time, once they set up into their defense, it's off-ball and packing the key with Mirasan. And I know Dirk can shoot him out of the game, which is good, but Dirk only has so much stamina. It all depends. The reason it's an 8 out of 10 and not higher is because if you're coming up against a team that is running some of the Giants, you're going to struggle. And that's pretty much it. But other than that, it's really good. All right. So 50 to 60K for improvements. You just play Hawks 2018. Lads, don't play Hawks 2018 anymore. There is another, there is another offense. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to be patched. But it's literally like in the plays. It was like perfect spacing for pick and rolls. And it is perfect spacing for pick and rolls. It's literally four at one in. <laughs> but one to 50 is... Uh, 60k try evo terrence ross up if possible he's a god patchy's really good kg's really good smith's is really good um i like this team i like this team as far as budget squads go nine nine out of ten i know obviously you can spend a lot more but at this stage in the game this team's competitive I'd advise you, like, if you're using Ruby Kobe White, as much as a crazy thing as it is, like, if you really like Kobe White's animation and stuff, use the Sapphire. That card is significantly better than the Ruby. Um, like, if you guys have watched me play, I play against both of them. The Sapphire is, is killing it, and the Ruby's struggling. Nick Anderson's good. I don't like Kelly at the three. I don't know why. I actually don't know why I don't like the card. That Hall of Fame difficult shots, just not the best release, in my opinion. Uh, Jonathan Isaac's good. Mirasan's good. You've also got Porzingis in case you need shooting. Scott Skiles, Hall of Fame Dimer. You're covering all five positions last year off the bench. So, yeah. Um, this is a really good team. Maybe a Kobe White improvement. Um, Petri's great. I'd put, in, I'd, rep I'd put in Jamaran for Scott Skiles. Because Jamaran has got Gold Dimer. And I know it's not Hall of Fame. But Jamaran's a better shooter. He's faster. He's an unbelievable dunker. You can get to the basket. Morant is a beast of a card. I put him definitely in there for Skiles. Other than that, good team fine. Okay, 62k run ISO or trail che trail cheese. This isn't 2k19. Rarely use your center unless you get a three pointer. Mainly shoot the three ball. So I'd say. I'm just looking at the bench. This team's like a six, or it's like a six point five out of ten. I like your first four in your starting lineup. I don't like Dyson Chandler because he basically he plays like he's a seven foot six center, but he's not seven foot six. Like he does the same things. He doesn't shoot well. He doesn't like he rebounds re well, but not as well as some other players. I just put in like if you want to use as the giant center to get boards and block shots, put in Sean Bradley. Last three off the bench. Um, I don't know because the overall is 85. I don't know if I'd suggest to um, basically if you want to use the last three off the bench as three bronzes, if you want to run a 10 man rotation and you want to keep overall low, uh, replace Nick Van Exel. As much as I do like Van Exel, um, the Devontae Graham is probably better. Um, 
Terence Ross, try Evo MOP, that actually becomes a really good card. He's actually not bad at a Ruby. Tristan Thompson's terrible. Um, I get it, he might rebound a little bit, but if you're looking to shoot the three ball, you gotta use you gotta use a shooter there. You can't you can't afford to go out with Tristan Thompson and Mirasan if you're looking to shoot it. So that's the reason why. A lot of good players, and you don't need to make that many changes in the team. Just a couple of players really bring it down. But that's not a bad team at all. Hawks Freelance, primary ball handler is Desmond Mason. Okay. Um Mason's a beast. I like Dale Ellis and Dirk. Okay, again, probably um trying to keep the overall low. If your primary ball handler is Desmond Mason, and I wouldn't play Richie Greer in a point guard, I'd honestly I'd play a shooter at point guard. Like 320k left over. There's no point spending 320k. Just like I said in my last one, last um squad that I was reviewing. Um, I put in Devontae Graham instead of Richie Graham. The, Graham has a better release, shoots the ball better, attacks the basket not as well as Graham, but he's um, he just kind of does more. Especially if you're if he's not your primary ball handler, you'd rather a shooter than a slasher. And Gilmore's a beast. Bench lineup, just try Evo Channing Fry if possible. Um, I don't really know. I like Gerald Green. I think his release might be a little bit slow, but it's not a bad card, so I'm not going to say anything about that. It's best to save your MT, so I'm not going to suggest spending too much. And actually, rather than um, rather than Devontae Graham, probably Jeff Petrie for Richie Green. I think that's just probably a more like for like, and it's probably a better option. But uh, otherwise, this team's all right. I'd say 7.5, 8 out of 10. Not bad at all. So anyway, that is the video. This is, again, episode number two of this series. Leave a like if you guys like this. And also, um, if you guys do want me to rate your squads, remember to follow me on Twitter and reply to the post. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.